Welcome back to another Candy Eggs uh, getting rid of space on her there computer thing. Back again with a bubble water. Okay, so this artwork is the characters from my dinosaur comic, Tantum's Construct, but they're people. Why are they people? No reason. I just felt like it. <laughs> I like doing character designs and... The goal with the relationships between the characters in this comic is to try and capture the feeling of a friend group that has been friends with each other, like all throughout high school, and now they're out of high school, except Monty is someone's little brother or something, like he's just significantly younger than everyone else, and he just is also there because he doesn't have any other friends. That's really the goal. Like, they've known each other for so long throughout, like, their childhoods and into adulthood that they all know each other very well. Multiple of them have dated each other before. Just that kind of vibe. Also, reinterpreting the characters as humans brings some interesting design choices in their clothing, their clothing color palettes, the textures you want to use, the patterns, to try and make them feel similar, but also not extremely cartoonish renditions of humans. Like, this is my normal art style for drawing people, and yeah, it's basically all I wanted to talk about. I don't really know what to talk about now, but it sure is, the art sure is happening real fast. Hella sip, babes. Oh yeah, another thing. The characters' ethnicities are inspired by what places in the world that their dinosaur counterparts are from, except with the exception that the North American dinosaurs are drawn as white people, because in the story there is um, uh, inference literary purpose behind the idea that the North American dinosaurs are... Um, more privileged just because they are more well known in the public consciousness. So the North American dinosaurs sort of represent uh, Western themes, if that makes sense. So like Tay is a Centosaurus, which is a Chinese dinosaur. Um, Mapu is a Mapusaurus, which is... <laughs> I forgot what country it is, it's somewhere in South America, and etc. The only actual... Wait. No Edmontosauruses, or Edmontosaurus. Edmontonia is North American too, I think. I don't think it's... It might be European. I don't remember. These aren't things I commit to memory wholly, but... <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> also, there's this interesting trend you see on the internet, especially things like DeviantArt and Tumblr, where when people draw non-human characters as humans, they are either drawn as um, furries, basically, or they are drawn uh, excessively attractive. Now, I participated in the latter half. <laughs> As one does. Hello, Sip. I did do some flat shading, or cell shading, rather, on this artwork. I don't normally... I went through a trend fairly recently when this and a lot of these other drawings were made of doing cell shading, but I've really... Sometimes I do it if... It's been my comic. If the background is very blank, like part of the story takes place in what I call the collective consciousness that needs some sort of explanation, which is basically just like a white candy looking void. <laughs> I will draw shadows just to ground them on the floor. But other than that, I really only use vague gradients to imply depth to very large spaces of flat color. But now I'll pretty much do it, yeah. 
Have a nice day, babes. That was that was this this art. Congratulations, you got through it. Mwah. Hee.